How'd the Drake thing come about? Mustafa the poet. Mustafa the goat. That's what I call him. He's the goat. He knows man. everyone. No, he knows everybody. Mustafa, Mustafa is, that's someone I want to get on this pod, by the way. You said that, I can't remember where at, but you said that a while ago. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Because of the fact that this guy is the most busiest man on earth. Okay. He's in LA all the time and shit. So, um, well, if we got to go LA. Yeah, I guess we have to bring the team us with us. <laughs> That's what he was getting at. You know? I can't believe no, we're going to fly in our brand new Rolexes. This is wild. <laughs> <laughs> a new tracky. Hey, you're his tracky and Dolly. Nah, he's living life. <laughs> 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 oh, that's funny, Lawrence. Uh, I can't believe we're flying in a brand new Rolex. It's incredible. What, no, when you get, what when you get in? Uh, I just I just did date just to be all right. Nice. That's oh, humble. You, yeah, you humble, humble. One little starter pack. Text him and ask him when he's he free. Or just give he's in Lara his number. He's so, in LA right now. Okay. Yeah. And he but comes. I think you should still do that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'd still think you should give. He, he's on that intro me to Drake. He also intro me. He intro me to a lot of people. How man. did he do a intro, what happened? Yes. How's the intro? How come, does he know? Do you know do what that? I mean? Like, because does he just he, go this Drake's a, number? This is Drake's. He's Instagram. a writer, so obviously he originally started as a poet, then started writing songs for artists, then What's became the biggest an song artist himself. Or did he sign an NDA for that? Yeah, I'm not sure if I can even say it. Mustafa has actually wrote a lot of stuff. So how, you're in Toronto and he goes, oh, uh, So no, basically, um, what's it called? I'm in, I'm in London, uh, Mustafa's in Toronto. Uh, I think Mustafa sends Drake a video of, just my videos, my, my content, right? And then Drake replied to Mustafa saying, oh no, I've already seen this guy, he's hilarious, whatever. So I said, that's, that's so when Mustafa sent me that, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. What? So then Mustafa said to me, Drake's got a song called Grease coming out. Um, me think, uh, that's Chris, right? That's Chris. Yeah. yeah. So he told me um, that song's coming out. He goes, make like a little reaction to it, and I'm sure he'll reply to it. So I was like, all right, cool. So when the song came out, I was like, hey, Drake's the goat, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like glazing, hundred percent. I was because I loved him, right? Glazing. I just wanted a reply. You know what I mean? Done that thing, and then Drake's posted that on his story. So my head was in the clouds. And that's when I made that iconic video. Where I was like. Uh, you know what I mean? Whatever, I'm gone. You don't look for me, delete my number kind of stuff. And then Drake followed me on the IG and then was DMing me from then. So then he was like to me, you should come to Toronto. Then COVID happened. Then in 2021 or 22, I think it was, um, Mustafa told me to come to, down to Toronto for his, for his birthday. Came down, Drake just comes waltzing through the door. I was like, oh, that's just Jersey Drake. Check me out. Come alive in the fucking north side. Kick game, run game, run a real good. I, have, I'm, I love Drake, man. He's one of my goats, sir. So. Yeah, I was like so gassed to meet him. That is... And then we had lunch, uh, we had dinner, We I went to his house, it was mad. His is in his nice house? Yeah, it was just a normal size one. Yeah. That's amazing, bro. The embassy. But um, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to plug uh, Philly with... I'm with hearing, Drake. a couple of the man have been there though, H went there as well. Did Drake's a crib? House. Yeah. Yeah, it must be, it's a gaff. A couple of the man have gone there still, 